So this is a little application we built with Visual Builder. It allows us to put in uh, the code of a country and get information about this country um, from some REST service. And we want to be able to run this application um, outside of Visual Builder, for example, on Tomcat. So let's see what we need to verify. A few things. First of all, this is a web application. You would need to go into the setting of the web application and under security, you would need to make sure that you allow anonymous access because you're not supposed to be using IDCS if you're not using the Visual Builder um, server. You won't be able to use it. So this is at the application setting. Then if you're calling REST services, like I do over here, what you would want to make sure is that when you're looking into the setting of the server here, the server is set to have a connection type of dynamic, the service supports calls, because you don't want to use our backend REST proxy. You also don't want to use it because of authentication, so make sure that you're using the right authentication type for that case. None, for example, is an authentication type that, of course, doesn't require anything in the backend proxy. So those two things would make sure that our application would work outside of VB without a dependency on our backend. Of course, we also don't have any business object over here. Let's make a little change to our application. For example, um, we can change the title here just to say country. And then we can um, push our changes into our Git repository. So that's the other thing. You want your application to be in a Git repository. And then we're going to publish it. Um, the best practice is to use publish that goes through a merge request, which is what I'm doing here. So this creates a merge request number 43 here. can go back into Visual Builder. Under merge request, we would see merge request 43. This would allow us to see the changes in the file over here, and then we can approve it to be merged. So this, in turn, is going to invoke a build job right now that is called the package job. Let's look at this job. Again, this job was created by default for me when I created the workspace, but you can also customize and create your own job that does the same things here. Uh, the first thing is you want it to map to your Git repository and to the branch that you want to deploy. In our case, that's the main branch. Next thing that you want to do is have a step here that uses the from the visual application menu here. You want to use the package step and um, this would package my application and will also optimize my application for deployment and um, you can specify which file to create here i'm just using the default okay and then in the after build again from the uh, after build steps here you want to use the artifact archiver to save the zip file that you created okay um, once your job finishes running, this will take your application, take all the resources and compress them, and then put them in a zip file. You can actually see the process happening over here. Again, accessing the Git repository for your code, and then running a bunch of grant tasks that take your code and compress it to generate an optimized application. And at the end, everything should be successful. So let's look over here. We can see it just finished successfully. And in the artifact section, we would have under the build, the built assets, um, which is the application that we just built. So at this stage, we can um, click on it to download this into our hard drive. Let's go to our hard drive. And here's the file we just downloaded. Let's rename it to country. Okay, and unzip it. And over here inside the file, you would see a web apps directory with your application in it. Okay, so I'm going to take this directory and I'm going to copy it and switch over to look at my Apache Tomcat installation where I have a web apps directory. And into this directory, I'm going to paste my country application. Under country, we have the index.html file, which is the homepage of our application. 
So now that it's in Tomcat, we should be able to go to our local host and just point to our country application. This will invoke the index page. What would be interesting to see, by the way, this application now works. So if I type here NZ, you would get the data. Of course, what we want to make sure is that our application doesn't rely on the VB server in this case. So let's clear our network and um, invoke our application again. Okay. And see what we're accessing in the network. So you can see over here where the requests are targeted. So we are getting the country from the local host. And then if I keep scrolling down, you will see that some things are coming from local host. Some of them are coming from uh, the Oracle CDN, where we host things like uh, some of the libraries that we're using. Okay, but again, it's either going to be static or local host. So nothing is actually being delivered from the VB server itself. You can actually shut it down at this point of time. All right, and then if we execute um, the REST service, okay, this is going to go over here. And again, this is going outside to an external REST service, but it's not going through our proxy. So you don't have the proxy uh, before that. Okay, And also the image is coming from that location. So our application is now working on Tomcat on our local machine completely out of the VB server.